Chip. Well, now we are okay. Uh, well, now we are in uh, working from home, but usually you can find us in Via Cartucci. And uh, I'm here with uh, my colleagues uh, Jenny and Jill, who will uh, give you all the details about uh, the program. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask. You can either write in the chat or unmute you, or we can un unmute you if you ask. <laughs> anyway, uh, please uh, do it at the end of the presentation. Thank you. Okay, great. Hi, everyone. My name is Jenny. I am with UC Berkeley Extension and my colleague Jill is here today as well joining me. Um, I'm going to share my screen and start a presentation for you. Okay, so I'm going to speak for about 15-20 minutes. Um, so thank you for joining today. Again, I'm with UC Berkeley Extension, Berkeley Global. And that's me, Jenny. Please ask questions at the end of the presentation and we will be happy to answer them. So first, I'm going to talk about the University of California, Berkeley. So we are located in California, which is this is the west coast of the United States. And we are about midway up the state. The closest large city is San Francisco. It's 20 minutes away on the train. And we are very close to Silicon Valley, as well as Lake Tahoe. This is a really vibrant metropolitan area um, where it's easy to get around and see a lot of interesting things like the city of San Francisco. So welcome to Berkeley. Now, this photograph is taken from our campus. It is um, in the foreground. You can see all of the green area. That is our beautiful green residential campus with a clock tower. Now in the distance, you can see the Golden Gate Bridge and that shows you how close we are to San Francisco. We're um, located along the bay and it's a beautiful, large, traditional American university campus. Okay, here's a few fun facts about the University of California, Berkeley. We have consistently been ranked the number one public global university in the world. And we are a top research university. So far, 110 Nobel Prize winners have come from Berkeley as either our faculty or alumni. Two of them were awarded recently in October. And we are a large campus, it's 40,000 students, but we welcome about 10,000 international students each year from over 90 countries. So this is a really large and diverse American campus. Now next, I'm going to show you a short video about Berkeley so you get a sense of what the university is like, the kind of students that are there, and what it looks like. What happens here isn't magic. It just feels that way, because there is no telling what will occur when people unsatisfied with the way things are, have the courage to imagine a better way and the freedom to turn what could be into what will. That takes bold thinking, disruptive ideas, and an amazing array of perspectives, people, and intellectual pursuits. But it's hard to capture something that won't stand still. That's Berkeley. Berkeley. Built by the people, for the people. Founded and forever inspired by those who had an unstoppable drive to build a new state on the Western Edge. We embraced the radical idea of a public university and never looked back. Hundreds of thousands of lives changed for people who then go out and change the lives of millions more in our state, our nation, and the world. That's Berkeley.
Okay, because I want to be mindful of our time together, I wanted to stop the video there. Um, so today I'm going to talk about three study abroad options we have at UC Berkeley for our Catolica students. We have one called the Berkeley Global Access Program for students from most academic majors. We have the Berkeley Haas Global Access Program for students interested in entrepreneurship and innovation, so that would be for business students. And then we have the Legal Studies Global Access Program, which is for students interested in law and legal studies. So first, I'll talk about Berkeley Global Access, the who, when, and what. So this is for undergraduate and graduate students and professionals. When, you can take it for one or two semesters. Our semesters are about four and a half months long. Um, and then the what, this is a study abroad option for most academic majors. You can be studying anything and you get to choose your own courses and you can get into courses on our campus where there's space available. You're studying alongside Berkeley students and you can transfer your credits to your home university. And then there's some support for students such as professional development as well as admissions for graduate school support. So there's support for students that are interested in this program. Now, pace of study, it's a full-time program. So you must take 12 to 18 units per semester. In the US, our units are about half what your ETCS is. These are the admission requirements for this program. You must complete one year of undergraduate coursework, have a minimum grade point average of 3.0, and have an English language proficiency of TOEFL of 90, IELTS of 7, DAAD of C1, Cambridge, Cambridge English first of C, TEMS of four or eight um, is a score of 70, and if you have studied full time in English, you can um, receive a waiver for this requirement. Now, just so you know, for all of our programs I'll talk about today, the English language proficiency scores are the same, the same requirement. Okay, next, I'm going to talk about the Berkeley Haas Global Access Program. This is the program that focuses on entrepreneurship and in innovation. This is for undergraduate and graduate students. And sometimes we have professionals that join us that are interested in entrepreneurship. This is for one or two semesters. And it is a special partnership with our business school. You would be taking courses at our business school. The curriculum is focused on entrepreneurship and innovation. There is some amazing site visits to Silicon Valley startups and companies. And um, there's also an individualized career coaching uh, course that's built into this program. So pace of study, it's full time, and it is a required course load of 12 to 15 units per semester. Next, the admissions requirements for this program. It's a minimum two years of undergraduate coursework, a minimum grade point average of 3.0. And same as before, English language proficiency is a TOEFL of 90 or equivalent. Now next, I'm going to show you a short video. It is some students talking about their experience in this Berkeley Haas Global Access Program that focuses on entrepreneurship. I thought sometime in my future I will use the business knowledge. So I want the program which I can learn the basic business knowledge and also to put myself into the like, challenging environment. So the, I think the Berkeley House Global Access Program is the, the best program. It's in a good location. It's close to Silicon Valley. It's close to San Francisco, close to a lot of good universities. You can meet a lot of people from all around the world, so there's a lot of diversity here. The professors here are amazing. They are really good at teaching students and encouraging students to be the best that they can. 
Um, I would recommend the Berkeley Haas Global Access Program for so, so many reasons. But one of them is that it just changes yourself as a person. It changes your mindset and it's just so amazing to live in such an innovative environment and you cannot get that anywhere else. Okay, so that was a little student perspective on our special entrepreneurship program. Next, I'll talk about the final program I'll talk about today, which is our Legal Studies Global Access Program. So this program is for undergraduate students interested in legal studies. It's the one program um, that really is for undergraduates, not for post, um, postgraduate or what we would consider to be master students. It really is for undergrads. Um, and this is a one semester program. It's a special partnership with our law school. So students would study at our top ranked law school and the curriculum focuses on legal studies and comparative law. And some of the interesting um, additions to this program is the group will get to visit uh, legal firms. They can visit a California court um, and they will have opportunities to do trips to San Francisco and different cultural events as a group built into the program. Pace of study, this is a full-time program. It's 13 units per semester. Now here is um, the admissions requirements. So you need to have completed two years of undergraduate coursework before starting, a minimum grade point average of 3.0, and again, the same TOEFL score of 90. And then next, um, here's some dates that are going to be helpful for you. I know a lot of students here today are interested in our fall 2021 semester. So the dates, it goes from August 18th to December 17th. So it's about five months. Our spring semester starts in January and goes to May. Now, for all of the students here, our deadline to apply, which we coordinate with your study abroad office on the application, that you need to submit your application to your study ab abroad office to uh, Margarita, who is on this uh, presentation today. But our final deadline for our fall programs is at the end of June, June 28th. And for our entrepreneurship program, the one that I showed you the video for, we actually have rolling deadlines for that one. It is February 15th, April 15th, and June 1st. Um, for our university partners, we encourage um, students to submit their application before the February deadline if possible. Now, we have scholarships for two of our programs. $5,000 scholarship for the entrepreneurship program and one for the legal studies program. When you do apply, we welcome all students to apply for the scholarship to have the opportunity to save some money. And then here's some information about living expenses in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, we anticipate that it will cost approximately $10,500 US dollars per semester. So that's over five months and that's $2,100 a month. And I wanted to give you that information because some students ask a really important question, like how much does it cost to live in Berkeley? Okay, now another thing that um, makes our team unique is that we have staff to help students with the, every part of their journey. We have academic advising for students, we will help students understand their health insurance, figure out their visa, give them resources on housing. We have information about how to make your student experience excellent, right? Student clubs, orientation sessions, discussions about whether you wanna do an internship, professional development, like um, if you want to fix up your resume or prepare for an interview. So we have a lot of workshops and events that the staff puts on. Um, so yeah, it's a great team of staff and we're standing by to make sure that you have a great student experience at Berkeley. And then life outside the classroom. Uh, I probably, it would be good for me to share a video with you about this, but I don't have time today. 
Um, but basically, this is a really vibrant area that has something for everybody. It's close to San Francisco, so very close to a very large city. It, Berkeley itself is considered sort of like a university or a college town, and there's over 200 restaurants in the area. Um, we're really close to the Pacific Ocean if you're interested in surfing or kite surfing. We're also near Lake Tahoe where there's a lot of skiing and hiking. And then the top left picture is our Greek theater, which is um, our outdoor amphitheater on our campus where there's like live music events, et cetera. So there's just a lot of exciting things to do in this area. And then where will you live? Well, some students really want a dormitory experience. If that sounds like something you would like, we do have off-campus dormitories um, available for our Italian students. We also encourage students to share a house or an apartment with other students. We have homestays and we have a housing advisor that can help you um, choose the best housing for you. Now, um, that's it for me for my presentation. If you have any questions now, I would encourage you to add them into the chat. And I'm also going to um, unmute all of you as well so you can ask your questions now. Let me start it here. Um, I think students can now unmute themselves. Okay, perfect. We have a question from Tommaso. Okay, Tommaso, I have a question. Can the language requirements be fulfilled if I started an English course in English this year? Because at the time of the eventual beginning of fall semester 2021, I will have completed one year studying in English in case, would it be possible to undertake an in English interview? So what we, in order to have the TOEFL score waived altogether, we require students to study full-time all in English at the university level for one year. So that's one way you could be um, uh, waived from um, showing the TOEFL score. Um, there was a lot of different scores you could show, and we do have a process for any student that has a high academic English level, but doesn't have a test score. We do have an English um, interview that you could pursue. Um, we do encourage that for students, though, who have a very high English level. We don't offer it, um, I, we don't offer it for students that don't have a score at all. So Tommaso, you would need to have started studying full-time in English in August of this past year through till next year in order to meet that requirement. Does that make sense? Now, are any students, do, do students have any more questions for me while I'm here? You can just type them into the chat or you could um, yell them out if you're, um, if you wanna um, share with the group. I'm leaving the link for our program. So you can- Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's always useful as well. So have a have a look. So if you have any questions, please feel free. And if you don't have any questions right now, I'm in direct communication with your study abroad office. I know it's fall 2021, sounds like it's pretty far away. So you do have a, you do have a lot of time, um, at least on our side to decide. I don't know, Margarita, when do they need to let you and your office know their decision about where they are going to study abroad? 
Yeah, well, first of all, I want to leave our contacts. I'm sure they have them, but um, please find them here in the chat. Anyway, now we open the call for application for uh, the first semester of next year, so for full um, 2021. And you can apply until uh, December 14th. So you still have um, 12 days to apply. So if you're interested, uh, please have a look at the, um, at the link I sent you and you will still have plenty of time uh, in order to apply. 12 days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But at the moment, you just need to enroll. Um, and uh, I mean, we will select uh, the students just in January, and then we will help you with all the procedures. Uh, so don't worry. <laughs> Does anyone have a question? Can you tell me a question? Oh, we have a student. Ah, maybe. Yes. So yeah. the so the question says the flyer of the public of the program um, says that um, it's possible to take the English test at Catolica, and that is correct. Um, you and I have discussed this, Margarita, and I should have put it on my slide. Um, yeah. But we do we do accept your. Um, we yeah, our test. Your test. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, with a C1 level. Correct. That is more or less like an IELTS uh, 7. Mm -hmm. C.1 is more or less the same level. So you can take our test. Um, and you said with a score of C1. Okay, thank you for your question. Did anyone else have a question uh, they want to ask to the group here? Yeah, we still have um, some minutes. Huh? Okay, one question. Are there any economics courses? So we do have some economics courses. The, if you're an economics student, the best program for you to look at is our Berkeley Global Access Program. The first one I talked about, and that one is open to a variety of academic majors. That would be the best fit for um, a student studying economics. I'll put the name of the program in the chat. Does anyone have questions not related to the coursework and maybe about San Francisco or about Berkeley or the campus or things you can do as a student? You don't have to necessarily ask, you know, serious questions about the program. We have, uh, okay. Is it possible to attend regular classes of UC Berkeley as well or just extension? Okay, so Liliana, that's a really good question. So. The office I work in, right, it's called UC Berkeley Extension. We are an office that helps administer and organize these programs for international students. The courses that you will be taking in any of the three options I mentioned, they will all be regular classes at UC Berkeley on the Berkeley campus. They are actually not UC Berkeley extension classes. We do have those, they're mostly for professionals, but any of the classes that you are taking in any of the three options I talked about are regular UC Berkeley classes on the campus with Berkeley students, okay? You're welcome. Any other questions? I think we have about two minutes left. That's yes. it. So would love, if you do have a question, um, please ask it now.
Yeah, otherwise you can always contact us. Oh, we have another question. Uh -uh. How do we get the scholarship? So for the two programs I mentioned, one is the legal studies and one is the entrepreneurship program. There's an application for the scholarship. The application is on our program website. When you apply for the program, you can also submit an application for the scholarship because you have to write about why you are a good fit to receive the scholarship. I encourage all of you, if you do apply to either of those programs, apply for the scholarship. Um, we, we, are welcome, we welcome all students to apply and it's a, it's a great opportunity to save $5,000 on the total um, fee. Also for courses in political science, I have to look at the BGA program. Correct, that is the best program for you if you're a political science student the BGA program. If you're a communication student, if you're a history student, if you're a sciences student, our BGA program is the best one for um, a variety of different academic majors. Any final questions? We have 30 seconds. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> No more? No more. Well, I'd like to thank all of you for joining me today. Um, Margarita, thank you for hosting me. And um, look forward to maybe having some Catolica students join us in our fall 2021 semester. I would love to see you at Berkeley. Yeah, thanks a lot, Jenny, for your time. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.